Alright, let's see if we can figure out what this patch does. If we begin up here, we have a clock signal which is going into the clock divider and one of those is going, let's see, I think we're splitting the signal somewhere. Yes, we're splitting that signal. So, going in there and then we're splitting the signal a few times for a couple of things. Let's not get too much into that. Um, two of those signals going out is going into uh, uh, the quad logic gate with a NAND circuit in it. Um, and that makes it, this one, jump two steps and then hold for two steps and jump two steps and hold for two steps. So this is the baby eight. And that one goes into the VCO one with, with its saw, uh, saw output going into the MS20 OTA filter, which then goes out into the vectoral VCA. Um, that is kind of mostly open from the ADAR uh, and this is just to lower the signal a bit you can do that um, now it's very loud and not so loud and this is because this signal is then split somewhere here it's split up here and one Actually, they both go into the quad-gated switch and and they go two ways. So when, it, when it's up here, it, it is routed to the DSPFX. And when it's in the lower one, it was routed to directly to, uh, to the mixer. And that was so I could I could add that one as well. But as you can hear that I, I didn't like that sound so I, I skipped that one. Instead I can flip these two switches or actually just that one and I route everything into the the DSPFX, which I did once in that jam, and it, it garbles up too much. It's better to just have these few notes uh, that come into this, and we're in the church algorithm, so it's very, very spacey. And then, what do we have then? Yeah, then we have the bass drum is just run a few times from uh, also going through the NAND gate. So we, if we take this one, no, wrong one. If we take this one, it also has two bounces or or two 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 beats and then it waits for two beats and then we take that to the echo effect and we get this jumping in in uh, I think quite quite a nice beat to this song it decides the tempo kind of uh, and that one is also going through this um, switched gate so I could if I wanted to I could also have it and I added that a few times where it actually I routed through the uh, the spring reverb instead of of the effects box and that's what it is it 
down there and so two beats up there and then two beats down there and then there's an XOR bell in here somewhere yeah there so it's just an XOR bell from the simple divider and that is it for this patch uh, loads of cable for this to happen there's a lot of of splitting uh, gate signals uh, I realize that is a big thing when doing these more complex um, routings of things and as soon as you have all these small um, or, or these that you want to gate between two things you get so many cables for just one sound but anyway that's the best explanation I can give, I guess.